G'day, BD Bet here, Jonathan. Um, so, today we have um, little Charlie here. She's made an appearance on BD Bet before, but um, I get a lot of questions about, you know, do bearded dragons soak up water through their van, through their cloaca, um, by bathing? So, this is probably the most common question I get every week. So, it's been done before. Um, Dr. Shane Simpson, the reptile doctor, has done an experiment before with dye. Um, Dr. Doug Maid has talked, written a, um, a post about it before, saying that this doesn't happen. But I still get the questions. So today I've decided to do a little experiment. Uh, it's a little bit of a slant on it. Um, so we're going to do it, um, and we're going to do a bath. So what we've done, I've already taken an X-ray with Charlie. Um, but what we did is, what I have here is um, omnipaque. This is, this is a um, radio opaque contrast solution that we put in uh, the veins of animals, but we also can use it for gastrointestinal studies to highlight um, the gastrointestinal tract. It's water soluble, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty 10 bottles into a little bath and soak Charlie in, in it. So, Just empty them in here. Okay. So that's 500 mils of Omnipake in there for a bath for Charlie. Um, that was a very expensive exercise. That was about $250 worth of Omnipake. So let's hope this uh, experiment works. So as I said, we've already taken an x-ray of Charlie um, next to some in a syringe, a 0.5 mils of it in a syringe and taken an x-ray. So you'll be able to see what it looks like um, under the x-ray. So, if you come on in, what we're going to do, let's pop Charlie inside this little bath. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to leave her here for about an hour. Um, pretty much what people will do, most people will leave it in there for, you know, 20 minutes to see whether to rehydrate them. But we'll leave her in a bit longer, give her the best chance to absorb that stuff up her um, cloaca. And uh, we'll take an x-ray later and uh, see how we go. Okay, so it's been about an hour and uh, Charlie's still sitting in a little uh, contrast medium bath. Um, so we're going to get her out, we'll put her on an x-ray plate, fire an x-ray through and see uh, whether any of that contrast has been uh, sucked up her vent. So, come here little Charlie. Ugh, there we are. Give you a bit of drawing off. Ugh, this stuff's a bit sticky. Okay, giving her a good dry off. Okay, popping on the x ray. Okay, we'll just have to step outside while we're doing the x ray. X ray. Okay, let's pop back in. So we'll just come through to the uh, X-ray processor. And we'll pop this in. Okay, we'll 
just wait for this to load up and we can see uh, if there's any actual contrast sitting within uh, her cloaca. Always nice and quick when you're waiting for it. Oh wow, check out that. Okay, so if we look at the image, um, we can actually see that uh, little Charlie's actually drunk some of that liquid. So um, while we have them in a bath, they do drink. Um, and as you can see, it goes down here. This is her stomach and it's starting to go down into her intestines. But if we look down at this area of her cloaca, um, there is not actually any contrast to be seen. So, I guess that busts another myth, um, they don't actually suck up any liquid up through their cloaca. Um, it looks like most of it comes in through their mouth. So, hope that's uh, dispelled some of the myths and uh, just sorts that little issue out. But until next time, BD Vet signing out.